Hello dear students and here we are in the second part of our five part series on the top 20 species that are important for prelims 2025. At position number five or let's say from the bottom. So at the fifth species that we are discussing is your Malabar tree toad. Malabar tree toad is otherwise also called as your Asian toad. Okay, now that is an important thing. It's called as the Asian toad. The IUCN status of it is endangered. Okay, little bit more important now. Third thing is this Malabar tree toad. Tree being a very important word over here. It is endemic to the Western Ghats. Okay. So, importance has slightly increased and finally, the most important point, it is the only arboreal toad species in India. Arboreal means the one that can climb and reside in trees. Okay, So, this is a toad, not a frog. It's a toad. Toads are slightly duller and bigger in comparison to frogs. Okay, And this has the unique ability to climb trees. It's an arboreal toad species. So, tomorrow if UPSC asks you a very random question, toads can climb trees. Remember the Malabar tree toad. Okay. The sixth species that we have to discuss is the Indian gore. I had told you when we were talking about the tiger reserves, a lot of areas in India where the Indian gore is now getting reintroduced. So, what is this Indian gore? The Indian gore, otherwise called as the Indian bison, okay, is the largest extant bovine native to South Asia and your Southeast Asian region. It is featuring in the vulnerable category. It is an extremely large, bison is a variant of a buffalo species. It's an extremely large herbivore species. And in lots of areas in India, the gore is now getting reintroduced. Now, what might be the reason for it? The gore is getting reintroduced because the gore happens to be the food of a lot of large predators. So, in areas where gore is getting reintroduced, you are likely to see the populations of your big predators increase. That is the reason why the Indian gore is getting reintroduced in a lot of areas. The next species that we have to discuss is your Senna spectabilis. I had told you this when we were discussing the Mudumalai Tiger Reserve that this species is so important. Why? Because it's one of those invasive alien species that has done so much destruction to your Mudumalai Tiger Reserve, Anamalai Tiger Reserve in a lot of areas in the south. So, let's have a look at the species. Senna spectabilis is a deciduous plant species and it comes from the legume family. UPSC has a soft corner for legumes. Now, I know this is an invasive alien species and it's doing widespread destruction. But the other side of it is it also comes in your legume family. That means this plant can fix nitrogen. It's a nitrogen fixing plant. Okay, when you look at it, um, the IUCN status of it, obviously, it's of least concern. So, on that front, it's not important. But again, we know the invasive alien species have always come as important in UPSC. So, this is an invasive alien species which has the ability to nitrogen, to fix nitrogen. And it can grow up to 15 to 20 meters and can be evergreen in climates with rain all around the year. This is the reason why it's a bigger threat because it's going to be there no matter what the climate changes. If there is good amount of water, this is going to be growing in a good number. The last species in the second part of our five part video is agar wood. Okay, Agar wood was in news with respect to India and sites. Now, why is this species important? Agar wood is actually a tree. It grows in your tropical rainforests. And it can grow even in heights up to 100 meters. Okay, So, in elevation up to 100 meters, you can have your agar wood. 
Now, you might be knowing agar wood in a different manner. You have the bark and the resin of this wood is collected and it's called as oud or oud. And it's burnt. It gives us very strong fragrance. If you go to any of these, you know, it's a very good amount of this fragrance is used in your Middle Eastern households. In areas where, you know, you have this large amounts of insects or anything, they burn this and it's so fragrant that it, you know, it distracts the insects and everything. So, agar wood, a species which from which we are extracting your fragrant resin called as Oud features in our top 20 species. Why? And this is where you understand the rest part of it. First of all, it's an IUCN critically endangered species and that's not it. Now, in India's very recent meeting with sites, India has successfully prevented agar wood from being included in sites review of significant trade. What does this mean? Okay, so understand, sites is the body that is trying to overlook or uh, any kind of trade that is happening. So even if it's legal trade or illegal trade, sites has a say in it. And sites is a legally binding or sites has several legally binding treaties. India is a part of sites. Now, India has a lot of income coming from the export of agar wood. If the agar wood trade is regulated in some manner, some permit or, you know, any kind of import license or any of these things, India's trade will get affected. Okay. So, very recently, Sites was reviewing if agar wood or the trade of agar wood has to be regulated in some manner. And now, India has successfully prevented it from getting regulated. Which means what? India can now go forward and have its trade in the oud and the agar wood and everything. And sites will not be regulating it, at least for the time being. This is the context in which agar wood was there in news. But again, when you look into the details of it, agar wood status is critically endangered. And agar wood has so many features. It is anti-inflammatory, anti-rheumatic, analgesic. It has several antioxidant properties when you use it in the form of essential oils. You extract the oils from it. And that brings us to an end to the second part of our top 20 species. <laughs>